Hello, I'm Gary Rosenberg, Certified Financial Planner. Thanks for stopping in. My website is called 248lifeman.com. Today's topic will be, how much life insurance do I need? And we're going to run through some very simple calculations using the broad brush, doing this in a couple of minutes, and give you an excellent idea of how much life insurance you'll need. So we're going to take care of the basics right now. Let's say that we've got a breadwinner, and this breadwinner says, if I die, let's say it's a man, and this breadwinner says, if I die, first of all, my family's got to have somewhere to live. So he's got a mortgage of $400,000. And he'd like that either paid off, or at least it's sitting in a separate fund, whether his widow decides it's in her best interest to pay it off or not, the money is set aside. The next issue is debts. And let's say this young man, this couple has $250,000 in student debt and other debt floating around. And he'd like that wiped out as well. Now, there's a college fund to consider. And this husband and wife has decided together that they believe that their kids should have a good running start on college. And maybe they won't have to take a job to work their way through college, which used to be possible 25 years ago, and maybe it's not possible now, or won't be, when their kids are grown up. Next issue is the surviving spouse is going to have to have income. Now, yes, the surviving spouse can continue to work, but what if, in this case, the widow would prefer not to work? She wants to stay home and raise the kids full-time, be there for the meetings at the school, and then as the kids grow up, when they're teenagers, she doesn't want them to be latchkey kids. Again, she has to be mom and dad, and she wants to be there at 3 o'clock when they get home so the kids can play and do their homework at their house and not be who knows where. So she can work if she wants to. She gets remarried. She doesn't get remarried. Whatever. She's got options because she's got the money. So they've decided that 100000 a year would be a reasonable income considering that the house is taken care of the college fund, and the debts have been taken care of. Now, how do you produce $100,000 worth of income for 20 years, let's say? Well, that would take $2 million. Now, if you have $2 million and you can invest it safely and conservatively and earn 5%, that kicks off an income of $100,000 a year, and you haven't touched the corpus. That money is still there in the final analysis for emergencies, for opportunities, for a legacy. So this couple needs $2.9 million worth of capital if the main breadwinner, in this case a man, dies before the plans that they've made have come to fruition. So that's $2.9 million of capital that they need. And let's say they have 900000 already. So they need $2 million worth of life insurance. There's your quick capital lien analysis. I hope that made some sense. I'd love to work with you. Call me at 248-LIFEMAN or stop by the website. Send me an email if you can think of anything you'd like me to draw pictures about. Thanks for your time.